Alright guys, how's it going? Today we're breaking down the brand new Ultimate Warrior trailer for WWE 2K14. Now, I was speaking to Yard when this was released and he mentioned the similarity between this trailer and the old Smackdown 2 trailer which featured Kurt Angle. So if I can find a link to it, I'll put that in the description as it's a great watch. Now, moving on to the gameplay, we'll get the first glimpse of Warrior wearing his attire from WrestleMania 6 when he faced off against Hulk Hogan. So, the first question that that brings up is, is Hulk Hogan in the game? We already have Macho Man and now Warrior, so Hogan has to be a strong possibility, especially when you consider his TNA deal allows him to appear in products outside of TNA, which is how he was included in WWE All-Stars and Legends of WrestleMania. As you can see from this shot, it takes place in the new Raw arena, which has been updated with the new logos, but the rest of the arena remains the same, with Cole and Lola at the announce table and two abandoned chairs by its side. In this second scene, things get a lot more interesting as we see a first look at the old school arena, which appears to be WrestleMania 6, which again is another indication that Hogan will be in the game. Also shown is the classic WWE logo on the entrance and the In Your House logo in the distance, not to mention the referees being updated in the old school blue shirt with a black bow tie and the crowd are also dressed in old school attires as the warrior hits the splash on Randy Savage. In this next shot of Warrior celebrating, we can clearly see the WrestleMania logo on the arena walls, as well as the In Your House logo, which was shown previously in the last shot, and we'll get a first glimpse at Howard Finkel as we're ring announcer. Additionally, you can also see the old school announce table, although it has Jerry Lola and Michael Cole sitting behind it, so it looks like we'll still get Cole and Lola as the announce team for matches outside of career mode. Next we see Warrior hit Savage with a big boot, again in the updated Raw Arena, and you can see the new 2K Sports logos below the electronic boards, which replace the THQ logos of yesteryear. Warrior drops an axe handle next, and that gives us a great shot of the t-shirts, however they're still the same as the previous trailer, with the likes of the GTS shirt, Zack Ryder's glasses, Miz's Hater's Heart Me shirt, and Cena's 10 Years Strong shirt, along with CM Punk's latest Godly shirt, which is black instead of white. Back to the old school arena now and we get the confirmation that this is indeed WrestleMania 6 as you can see clearly the logo in the background. So again I have to say that I'm 99.9% .9 sure that Hogan will be in the game. This next scene shows Warrior during his entrance, shaking at the ropes and it gives us a good look at the shirts for this era. However they don't really seem to be superstar specific, at least in this scene. Finally, ending the trailer, we'll have a power slam to Macho Man, and in the distance we can see a Rowdy Roddy Piper shirt, which should confirm his inclusion. Then there's this blue shirt, which is an old school Andre the Giant shirt, which definitely fits in here, and it should confirm Andre's inclusion. So it looks like the game might well be based on the Golden Generation this year, especially with these new additions and Warrior recording a commercial and being the pre-order DLC. So let me know what you think about that in the comments, and whether you think we'll see Hogan, or even if you see something that I might have missed in the trailer. Until next time guys, thanks for watching.